Hello guys, welcome back. In our prior tutorial, how to use image button in Roblox, we have learned pretty much everything we needed to know about image buttons and how to place an image button on your screen. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to place our image button on a part. Let's now go to Studio. Here I am inside Roblox Studio. First thing I'm going to need, I'm going to need to add a part. And let's make sure it's anchored. And I'm going to move my part over here. I'm going to scale it. Now, if I wanted to add an image label or an image button to the screen, what I would do is I would go to our starter GUI and then I would add a screen GUI and then I would add the image label and image button inside the screen GUI. If you want more details on how to do all that, you can refer to our prior tutorial on image labels and we have another one on image buttons that was shown at the beginning of this video. And um, you, you can get more details on how to do that, how to place the image label and image button on your screen. But for today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to place them, or at least we're going to learn how to place an image button on a part, for example, like this part we have right here. To place an image label on your part is fairly easy. You just have to go to your part and click on the plus sign. First thing you need is you need to add a surface GUI to your part. So search for surface GUI, add that and go to your surface GUI, you're gonna click on the plus sign and search for image label. Now, if you immediately don't see your image label on your part, that is because your surface GUI is being placed at a different side of this part. So you can reposition it by clicking on the surface GUI, go to the properties window, and you can change the face here. So right now uh, I'm facing back, but my, my, my surface GUI is in the front. So I want to click on this and select back. And there it is. You can see that that is my image label. If I want to move, reposition the image label, I just have to select the image label and go to the properties window, go to position, and you can change the X and Y scale to re reposition it. So for example, I change it to 0.5 for the X scale and the Y scale to 0.8. And I have repositioned my image label to the bottom. If you like more details on how all these work, uh, please refer to our prior tutorial on image label. To add an image label to a part, that is all that we needed to do. And same goes for the text labels. If you want to add a text label to a part, that is all that you needed to do. But on the other hand, if you want to add an image button to a part, you're not going to be able to do the same exact thing because an image button is local to the players, to, to individual players. So if you added an image button to your surface UI on the part and you go to the image button, you try to add a script, it's not going to work because you, you're going to need to use a local script because the image button is local to the players. In this case, if you want to add an image button to the part, you cannot do it this way. So I'm just gonna scratch on this. I'm gonna delete all these. I'm just gonna leave the part here. Now, instead of adding the surface GUI to the part, I'm gonna go down to my starter GUI, which is local to individual player. I'm gonna click on the plus sign and I'm gonna add a surface GUI here. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add an image button to the surface GUI. Now, since our surface GUI is not directly under this part, we need to specify which part is the surface GUI going to going to appear on, right? So to do that, you're going to select your surface GUI and go to the properties window of the surface GUI. There is a property Adorni, you need to select the Adorni. Click on Adorni, and then you're going to select which part is going to be the parent of the Surface GUI. So if this, this Adorni is blank, then it's automatically going to select the parent to be uh, the Adorni. But in this case, the parent is the starter GUI. So we want to select 
in a Dorney for this Surface GUI. I'm going to select this part right here. I'm going to click on that. And you can see it's filled in. So now this part here is the Adorni, which is the parent of the Surface GUI. Or not exactly the parent of the, the uh, Surface GUI, but it is the part where the Surface GUI is going to appear on, right? So the parent of the Surface GUI is still the starter GUI, but the part where the Surface GUI is going to be displayed on, it's going to be this part right here, which is the Adorni. Same as before, we don't see our label, right? Because we have added an image label and we don't see it on our part. So we need to change the face. So right now it's front, the default is front. We want to select back. And there it is. Immediately we see our image button. Now we can move our image button, reposition it. So again, I'm going to change the X scale to maybe 0.1 this time and the Y scale to 0.8. All right, so I have placed my image button at the bottom over here. Next thing we want to do, we want to click on the home menu tab, go to the toolbox and we're going to select an image. I'll just pick this ball right here, copy asset ID. And I'm going to go back to my image button. I'm going to paste it into the image property. Control V to paste, hit enter. And there is my image on the image button. I can close this now. And now we're going to need to add a script to this image button so that we can detect when the image button is being uh, clicked on, right? So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to add a local script. In our script, first we're going to declare the button. So I'm going to say local. Let's call it button equals to script dot parent. So button here is going to reference to my image button. And then down here, I'm going to check to see when the button is activated. So I'm going to say button dot activated. I'm going to connect to a function. And inside our function, let's just print out button clicked. Every time we click on the button, this is going to be printed out, the button click. Let me now open up my output window. And let's press play and take a look. So here's my wall. I'm going to look for my button. It's on this side. And then I'm going to click on the button. And there it is. Button click. I'm going to click again. Times two. Button click. Everyone, that's how you add an image button to a part in Roblox.